Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this new figure unboxing and review we're going to be looking at the Hasbro Pulse Shattered Glass Exclusive Slicer and Exosuit Armour. Right, what we're going to do with this video then, we're going to unbox them live in a second, have a look at the entire contents of the packaging. We'll have a brief look at the comic as well and have a look at the, I suppose, exclusive cover art. We're then going to have a detailed look at him in, I was going to say both of his modes, but he's got a few different modes. Um, as you can see, we've got obviously two modes for actual slicer. We've got a couple of modes for the exosuit and because he's an exosuit, we can actually combine. So I'm going to have a go at two or three modes um, to see how we can combine and use all the pieces together. We're also going to do a comparison with him and the original owner's of the mold to be honest so we can see how that they display and look against um, them there's quite a few actually so we can have a bit of fun again doing some displays with them we're also going to see how he can display with some other shattered glass figures in exactly the same toy line because there's quite a few of them as you can see even more so but then what i really want to do and this is i suppose one of the main reasons why i'm really excited for this figure is because it's based on i suppose not very well known generation one um, original version um, a european exclusive so because it's got the exosuit i'm going to try and recreate both of the modes so this is the exosuit mode and this is the car mode and again because it's an exosuit and because we can have a play around with it hopefully i'm going to be able to recreate both of them modes for everybody to see right let's pop these away and while i'm doing this i'd like to remind anybody if they've not subscribed to this channel if they'd like to hit that subscribe button for me now please because it really will help me out also let's have a quick look at the box now unfortunately because it's windowless there's just a little dent in there it's nothing to um it's nothing too bad to be fair we've got the lovely full image of on on the side we've got the close-up bust there and there again we've got the full size image of him there and of course this does feel really weighty because we know that we've got all the exosuit in there i love the boxes i think it's great and of course i need to thank hasbro pulse because that's who sent this to me um pretty again safely as you can see let's cut this open then let's see exactly wow it looks like they're just going to have again wasn't expecting this not seeing i've seen pictures of this guy um i've not seen any other reviews yet so this is going to be a complete first impressions um there's obviously the reason now why the huge bit at the bottom because of the exosuit arm is tucked underneath we've got the instructions there which look okay they look quite thick to be honest uh, let's see if I can stand this up just for two seconds, because what I want to do very quickly is just have a quick look at the comic. And then, as I said, I'm going to just change the camera quickly because we're going to be setting him free from the box. It's good to see they've actually got the rope ties in place. This is the exclusive cover that comes with these when you order them from Hasbro Pulse. Um, and the story inside, don't worry, I'm not going to show you all of it. Uh, I just love these. Again, I love the whole concept of shattered glass. I think it's brilliant. Um, I'm not going to give too much away with that. But that is, of course, the entire contents of the packaging. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set him free from there, get out the exosuit and come right back to you with some first impressions. OK, so as you can see, I've literally just set him free and this is how the exosuit comes in the package. So it's only down to the legs, his back piece, his torso and his arms. We're going to have a quick look at him in a second. And Slicer comes packaged like this. So it's just very simple. Let's separate his feet. And while we're here, we might as well have a look, do some first impressions on him. So we've got lovely head sculpt, lovely red eyes. That's actually reflective gold, which looks good. Uh, and of course, the rest is black. It's on a is it like a mushroom or a ball and socket? So there's full range of motion there. There is, of course, in the shoulders, all the way around, out to the sides. Bicep swivel, bicep flexion, wrist swivel, which you can see there. We've also got waist swivel. We've got hips to the side, to the front, but knee rock. Again, as you'd expect with all new figures, ankle tilt and rock exactly like that. It looks great now the other things that come with this these are brilliant and these are just fantastic homages so these are actually his weapons and these are so good so if you're unaware or if you've not seen my video on this guy this guy is the botcon 2010 version of slicer and again the weapons are just perfect homages to them look 
there you go so this is the new one this is the original and then you've got a twin blaster because you could join these two together as well so yeah for those of you who've not seen this this is the 2010 version of him and again they're just brilliant brilliant homages to him they look fantastic so what i'm going to attempt to do now is see if i can build him up so he's just called exosuit which is a bit of a shame because right okay i've remembered now let's fold these legs out like so fold these over fold this down i think then i've got to spin this around i think that's right let's have a look at this so in fact no i need that at the back don't i let's take the front let's attach this there that's it it's all right it's all coming back to me slowly now this is going to fit in the back there we go there's one of his arms which one i suppose it doesn't really make a difference like so and here is his other arm so as you say they've got you've got two bots in here so it's good and then you've got the dagger bit i suppose i'm going to pop him on that particular shoulder oh what's this it's oh it's a mini missile launcher as well of course just to uh, go on the top which we can have a look at in a bit but what i think we need to do now we can see there they look great the rest of the video is going to go like this then we're going to have a detailed look at the both of them in their alternate modes do some comparisons with their originals then we're going to come back again and what we're going to do is we're going to do some more displays and more comparisons with some other figures okay we're back and as you can see they're both in their alternate modes quick apologies for no transformation process on this video main reason is to keep the length of this video down because there's so much to go through um, however these will be uploaded separately if you do want to watch them and of course this means that if you don't want it spoiling for yourself it won't be spoiled for yourself and you can experience that transformation process for the first time when you get it so there is the exo suit and this looks really cool to be honest i whenever i look at this though all i can see is fast track um, and just have such really fond memories of him from when i was a child now slicer himself though looks really good as I already pointed out in the first impressions we've got the lovely silver trim on the inside of there which looks great we can of course attach the accessory if we wanted to on the roof there and indeed nope there isn't any on the inside they're on the back aren't they i was just looking for ways of that we could attach the guns to him whilst he's in this mode now there's got to be a few other modes i'm going to have a quick look um, and have some fun in doing some other versions in a second before we go back to robot mode um i've got another version of this is i suppose a dark energy on wheel jack unfortunately he's not loose but this is again it's a nice little homage to this particular figure um, again it's nothing like what you've seen with regards to the generation one exo suits just yet um, we can of course let's just take this out we can put either one of these in fact by the looks of it we can build all these up quite a bit so let's have a look what we can do so if we can pop that in there like so then of course we can attach in fact what i need to do let's have a look is attach that there there we go then we've got space on the side to attach that there we go twin barrel and can we attach this as well not that i can see just it in fact yes we can we can fit that maybe we can't maybe it's not supposed to go in there um but there you go as i say whenever i do these videos it's always a learning curve for me as well what i am going to do now though is quickly stop the video and combine this guy with him to show you a powered up alternate mode okay then and what i've done is basically just had a bit of fun with this i'm just going to stick this in as a bit of a bonus what you can see i've done is i've got the legs managed to fold them around the bit on the top so you've got a bit of a powered up um alternate mode it does all rest in place perfectly when you're there typically i've just knocked it off there's various other ways and modes this is just one i've just very quickly had a bit of fun with you can of course as well attach the blasters at the top like so and you can see that it just gives him another appearance now of course there's more of these this is as i say a very crude attempt at one that i've literally just managed to do in a couple of minutes uh, but what i'm going to do in another video in the future is quite a few more but i think we've had enough of seeing him in these particular alternate modes which do look great we need to come back see them in the robot mode well see slicer in the robot mode and then after that what we're going to do is start do some more of the combined modes as well okay so we're back in the robot mode and what we're going to do now is some comparison so i'm going to actually start with the exosuit let's just pop him right there in the middle and of course as i said we've already got a black rorichi 
which uses the same mold and the original owner of the mold was indeed of course fast track so as you can see just great uses of them and just such a brilliant idea and concept that you can pull these apart and indeed build up loads of different figures because of this so there's not much more to say about them i am going to be doing some more as i say combinations a bit later on in the video but for now let's concentrate on actual slicer so there he is in that mode again what i'm going to do is i'm going to attach his missile launcher just over the shoulder like so and then what we can do is let's just put a gun in each hand because i'm sure that'll look really good and again i can't believe how much of a homage this is to the um in fact i think it's more of a homage to the botcon one in all honesty i really do which we've all had a quick look at and i'm going to show you again right now all oh, right let's get that in this is so awkward um again it's fresh out of the box so everything's stiff it's a pain at getting in it's clicking all over the place there we go so there he is fully powered up in that particular mode and again there is the botcon version let's just take this guy out of here for a second take him off his vehicle mode and have a real good look at that so let's bring these closer love see how they've got the same colored ish uh, decepticon logo there same head sculpt as good as it's just such a great homage to this particular figure now with the weapons as you've seen you can combine these you can move them all around there's loads of different ways that you can um i suppose display these um let's have a quick look because i didn't even know until just then that this folds over as well so you can do i wonder what you can do that, that for um not too sure i'm going to find out though but yeah you can do that you can put this bit into the middle and then you've got like a large twin blaster if you wanted to pop on the one hand like so or indeed because it's like that you could probably attach this which would probably look a bit better actually mounted onto the side of his forearm like so that actually looks pretty good um that's just something completely fluke there right there's not much more as i say to look at this i suppose oh the one last thing to do um whilst he's in this robot mode is of course do the comparison with the original owner of the mold and that's what he looks like let's move this guy out of the way and funnily enough while we're here then oh that's got him out of the way hasn't it let's do some shattered glass displays so we've got i don't even know if this guy's gonna fit but he's already here anyway you can see just how big this figure is yeah he's huge um this is just a few of them this is just to give you an idea of how good I think they look and how well the colour schemes do in fact work with them all. There you go. I'm sure you'll agree. I think it looks great. So the final things to do for this video then is just build him up a couple of times in a couple of different ways with his armour. Okay, so this is the first one. And to be honest, this one isn't in the instructions, so you'll be forgiven and hopefully forgiven me that it's not that great. But funnily enough, I think this is the one that actually Mark Maher did himself um, on the live stream. So as you can tell, we've just laid the exosuit down, put the back down flat as well, and just sat him on it. Um, and he does sometimes fall off, uh, but it is, in a way, it's a good homage to this particular mode um, of him that was released. As I say, it's not in the instructions. Funnily enough, in the instructions, there's a couple of ways which you're going to see in a second that we can power him up in robot mode. This one's just a bit of a bonus one and it is a bit of fun because as you can see, it does in a way homage that. Let's have another look at a exosuit mode then. Okay then, so this is one of the modes in robot mode, which is in the instructions and it's just a giant cannon. Now, of course, the main problem that you're going to have with these is that it's going to make him super, super top heavy. I'm going to have a go and do my very best to see if I can get him in there and see if I can sort of position it. But I'm sure you can imagine, yeah, it's not really going to go. Um, it's it's huge. It's a massive cannon. It's not really holding. To be honest, it's, it's not one of the best. Now, there's way better modes, which I'm going to be showing you in a second. I'm literally just showing you every single thing that's in the instructions. So that is one of them. This next mode is much, much better, though. Let's have a look at that. 
okay this one is much much better but again it's just as difficult to try and um, display because it's just huge so we've got pretty much the whole of the torso and the legs joined onto the back they come over like huge rocket launchers we've got the rest of the chest piece there which can also be used as a twin blaster and indeed you've still got all the rest of his normal accessories if you wanted to pop these in his shoulders um, as well so as i say it doesn't have these extra bits in the instructions i'm just going to go and see what it does and see if it'll actually hold in place as you can see it is crazy and we are getting a bit daft now but at least that displays okay so there's only one final thing to do now let's have a quick look at him with like a mini trident all right this is the last one we're going to do before we do the final exosuit part and we've got a huge huge trident which as you can see to be honest it isn't even going to go in his hand you could of course make the full size spear which we did have for black zarek and for fast track there's still loads of pieces left over um but it's got this in the instructions as well uh, it's it's it is daft let's be honest it is a bit daft um, and it doesn't go too well so i am literally going to finish up right now with the final mode it's a bit of a fan made mode and it is the exosuit to basically copy the generation one version right then back for the final time definitely the final time in this video however i will have a good play with this over the weekend and get some other modes as well but this is actually the instructions as well so you can see we've got part of him on the feet part of him on the back as a missile launcher part of him as a shield and indeed i've gone and got and doubled the weapons up as well so it's not a full exosuit just yet you're gonna have to bear with me where i can see if i can work out how to do that but i think that i've showed you more than enough things about this figure to give you an idea i suppose of just how good he is um these parts formers whatever you want to call them weaponizer they're just a great idea and it really is good to be able to do this with these two particular figures i think they're great um they are a bit of fun yes they are both just redecos um but if you like the shattered glass toy line then you're gonna really like this and appreciate it let me know what you think in the comments guys and again i will do some much much better videos with some more combined modes when i can work out how to do it myself thanks for watching take care